PyCharm 2023.3 is out and there is lots to show. Let's take a look at what's new for you. Django goodness, brand new visualizations, front end improvements, a new diff viewer, and so much more. It's here. Our new AI assistant is out of beta. Yep. There's a lot that I can show here and a lot that the AI assistant can help you with. But if what you need isn't there, why not just have a chat? You can get access to the AI assistant through an additional subscription. If you want more information, check out our dedicated AI assistant video. Sticking with AI, full line completion uses a local large language model to complete, well, the full line. Full line completion is shown in gray. Press tab to accept the suggestion and away you go. PyCharm will download the local model on startup and generate multiple tokens in your code, ensuring your code remains private and never leaves your system. This also means that you can take advantage of this feature even when you're offline. Have you ever wanted to see a preview of your Django templates in real time? Well, now you can. With Django Template Preview, you can now see a preview of your template right inside your IDE once your server is running. And if your template needs custom parameters, that too is supported. Sticking with Django, sometimes it can be hard to figure out the structure of your project. We've got just the answer. There's a new Django tool window where you can see all of your apps and perform various actions. From here, you can register a new Django app, as well as run commands. You can also create new models and views, plus lots more, including find usages and refactoring. We have introduced some lovely new visualizations, so you can not only see the data that you're working with, but you can explore it in detail. First up, you can now interact with data frames in PyCharm's scientific view in the same way as you can in a Jupyter notebook, including hovering over column headings to get summary data. You can also extract the data to normal CSVs, SQL insert statements, and even presentation formats such as HTML and Markdown. There's more. We've made it really easy for you to explore your data using visualizations without needing to write any cumbersome code. This works for both Pandas and Polar's data frames, which is pretty cool. You can configure your axis and change your plot type to suit your needs. If your commit contains several files, you can now scroll through all the changes across all the files in our reimagined all-in-one diff viewer. We are introducing a revamped way to review changes. Now, instead of going through each file one by one, you can see all of the modified files from a change set in a single scrollable frame. Our HTTP client brings web requests right into the IDE, and this release brings lots of improvements. The HTTP client structure view now streamlines navigation within large HTTP files. Just load the structure window and select what you're interested in. For full stack development, there are lots of front end improvements that you can check out. Working with the verbatim module syntax option just got a whole lot easier. Adding the right import statement where needed. You just need the type. We got you covered. Actually using the value of an import. We also got you covered. We've added support for the exports field of package.json for TypeScript files, making auto imports easier again. And similarly, we have enhanced support for Yarn PNP workspaces, letting you navigate to modules specified in your workspace configuration. And that's not all. There is lots more in this release. We have Polar's data frame support in scientific mode, as well as Jupyter notebooks. You can now declare variables in HTTP client files. We have introduced support for Docker Compose within dev containers. Cypress and Playwright test frameworks are now supported. And color-coded highlighting for your editor tabs that mirror their appearance in your tool window. PyCharm 2023.3 is packed with small and large improvements in all corners of the IDE. We have a link to the release notes with full details in the description for this video. Finally, enjoy this release. Thanks for watching and thank you for using PyCharm.